Well, I'm joined now by the Israeli Prime Minister spokesman, Mark Reger. Mr. Reger, thanks for being with My us pleasure. tonight. Can you explain to people why on earth Israeli Defence Forces wish to interfere and prevent the Red Cross reaching dead and wounded civilians? We have no such intention. I mean, ultimately, we will do what we can, what needs to be done, to work with humanitarian organisations like the Red Cross. Mr. Reger, for three days, the Red Cross couldn't get to a situation where there were starving children sitting next to the corpses of their mothers. A lot of our viewers will be saying, in the name of humanity, what kind of government allows its soldiers to stop the RC getting to those people? First of all, we have to investigate what happened. We have to make sure lines of communication are open and working, that the telephones are working. We have to make sure. Mr. Reggett, I think you know what happened. Your soldiers were there. They were close to this position. The I Red think Cross you know. are not in the business of making this I know, up. and we take the Red Cross very seriously, and that's why we're investigating. But I think you should also be aware that Hamas is playing the game of atrocity propaganda. I'm not talking about Hamas, I'm talking about your soldiers preventing the Red Cross. No, I'm inviting no. you, Mr. Reggett, to apologise to the Red Cross for this. We want to work with the Red Cross. We see them as playing an important role. We have a good relationship with them. We want to continue that relationship. There's a difficult combat situation, as you know, in Gaza. In spite of the difficulties, we want to work with the Red Cross and help them do their job. Mr. Reggett, the Red Cross had to walk one kilometre to reach these people. Your soldiers prevented them getting their ambulances in. Your soldiers forced the Red Cross to get these people out, starving children, on a donkey cart. In the name of humanity, what is Israel doing? I want to be clear here. It's a difficult combat situation. You know that. People are getting killed. Our soldiers are under constant fire. We have to work in, despite that difficult situation, it's incumbent upon us to work Your effectively. Not, no, 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 this will not do. Your soldiers were not under fire in that situation. How do you know that, sir? How do you know that? Red three Cross, days my soldiers were not under, under fire? I'm not talking about three days. The Red I'm Cross knows that my soldiers were under fire. They went in there to rescue those people. They were not under fire. At that particular time, but maybe many situations were. Maybe they were in danger. You don't know this. Your, your sources here, I'm saying they're good sources, but they're only giving part of the picture. They're giving part of the picture. There's a difficult combat situation in Gaza. Everybody knows that. My source is the head of the Red Cross mission in Gaza and the head of the Red Cross mission in Jerusalem. These I, people are not in the business of propaganda. I agree, and we want to work with them, and we agree with them. But I do know also that the Hamas movement has an interest in portraying humanitarian crisis for their own political purposes. We want to work with the international community with the Red Cross as best we can in a difficult situation to alleviate this sort of hardship. The Red Cross is saying that uh, trust has broken down. Israel, almost alone globally, appears not to recognize the neutrality of the Red Cross. On the contrary, we want to work with the Red Cross. I'll say it again. We think they're an important organization. We want to work with them. We will do what we can to facilitate their important work. And if we've had problems because of the very difficult combat situation, we'll work to solve those problems. Can we expect an official apology, at least for this one incident? In the if we days? find that we did something wrong, of course we'll be talking apologize, but we have to get all the facts in. That's a promise. It, once again, if we did something wrong, we have to find out exactly what happened. Surely you're, you're fully in favor of finding out exactly what happened. I am indeed. Mr. Rego, thanks very much indeed for joining us. My pleasure.